All right, moving on vlog, talking about uncut anime right now. Um, in the middle of Naruto, watching all my uncut DVDs. I just finished season eight, so now I'm on like the fifth episode of season nine, which is really where things get good because that's when Sasuke like leaves the village and stuff. And so I have nine, and then I still have ten like still wrapped up. So once I finish nine, I'll watch ten, and then that's the last of the main story. And then I'm going to be on season one of uh, Shippuden because I didn't buy all the filler seasons because that's a waste of money. But, um, Uncut Anime, you know, like if you watch Naruto and Toonami, which you might or might not, depending on if you really like Naruto, you'll see, like, the main difference for Uncut Anime is, you know, it has the blood and it has cussing. But for some Uncut Anime, like Bleach, like I have the first season of Bleach. And it's not really uncut because even when you watch it subbed, it still has like all the, you know, subtitles for the English words and stuff like that. And in Naruto, like subbed or dubbed, it's complete Japanese. Like um, during the tuning exams, um, for those of you who don't know, of course, there's a part where they fight and everyone's name is basically on this board because it's like randomized who's going to end up fighting. So the names come up, but you know they're all in Japanese and in dub there are no subtitles they say all the names and you just like okay that might be the top name or the bottom name you don't really know if you don't read Japanese but in Naruto they basically it's flat out all Japanese and you know they have all the blood and in English they have cussing too that's the main difference for the uncut English version is they have cussing here and there and even Naruto, there was like one part I remember, they had Believe It in the subtitles for the sub version, which I know he doesn't say. So even that wasn't completely uncut, but maybe it kind of translate to, you know, translates to Believe It, and that's probably how that whole thing got started. But the one thing outside of that that I saw they didn't do was they don't change the openings like they did when I saw it on TV. And if you, you remember a lot about Naruto and you liked it, you notice that when they go through certain seasons, I think it was the last three, I think seven, eight, and nine. It, yeah, seven, it might just be eight and nine. But they go through this season opening, and when it starts off, it's you know a specific opening, but as it goes on and the story advances, certain things change. And actually, it is 7, 8, and 9. And it starts off like when they go search for Tsunade. In the opening, you don't see Tsunade. You see the back of her jacket. And they don't show her and stuff like that. And at the very end of it, um, Naruto like punches towards the camera. But as the season goes on, and I remember I saw this on TV. I might, it might have been the Japanese version when I was watching it online. But they change it once they reveal who Tsunade is and that she's going to be the Hokage and stuff. They show her face and all that. And by the end of the season, at the end of the opening, Naruto isn't punching at the screen. He's doing the Rasengan because that's when he starts to learn it. So you have like the second half of season seven opening and then the I guess the first half of season eight. You know, it's all the same opening and it's exactly the same, but the you know second half of season eight it should have changed but it doesn't do that unfortunately on the dvds even though it's supposed to be uncut and just like um naruto shippuden it um it changed from like the first couple of episodes every time each you know the new characters were revealed or every time you know the older version of the characters got revealed they put more and more of the characters in the opening scene because it started off and it was just Naruto, Sasuke, or it was, I think it was just Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi. And because it just showed them all in the first episode. And then as it goes on, it shows like Kiba and Shino and everybody else in their older versions, which they didn't do in the first episode, of course. And so it changes as it goes on. And I'm hoping it does that, but I'm assuming it won't since it didn't for the original Naruto either it pretty much just starts off with like I think it was the third season was the first time they did that and it started off with the final like what it would look like at the very end and I remember watching it or when I watched on my DVD 
I remember it wasn't like that when I first saw the show. And I was like, oh, well, that means they aren't going to show me the, you know, different versions. And that kind of sucks because, you know, you buy it and you expect it to be uncut. You think it's going to be the whole thing. And even on DVD, it's not. And they also don't do the little promos that come out for the episodes where they would, like, you know, um, promote the movies and stuff. Like, you know, go see the first movie. None of that is on the DVD. Um, they have the filler episodes, of course, but none of the after episode special things which was unfortunate i mean obviously it's like the smallest little thing and for the original naruto they didn't have the stuff like they did for shippuden which they stopped doing i forgot they even used to do that until like just now but they would have like the little comedy scenes after the episode for shippuden they never did that for naruto like at all from what i remember so you know that's probably why because it was just basically like 15 second commercials and they probably thought people wouldn't care that much, but, you know, you kind of do, because you bought it on DVD, you just want the whole thing as it was. Especially because you'll watch the show, and, um, like, if you watch Shippuden now on Crunchyroll, they don't put those little promos after the episodes, so you, or, actually, they might for that. I think it was before I started watching on Crunchyroll. It was a different website, and they didn't have the little extra things. And I'd just be watching the show and I'd be like, the third movie had to have been out between this time and that time. Because I'm at the end of the show. So they like cut the little promos. But I wanted that on my DVD, but they don't have it. And like I was saying, from for Bleach, I prefer how Naruto does it because it's more uncut, I guess. Since there's no English, it's all Japanese. And even though, of course, I can't read certain things, like I was watching an episode of Naruto, and Naruto looked down at like a piece of paper, and I was like, mm, I don't know what that says at all. But it was fine, because it was uncut Japanese, and I was okay with that. And for Bleach, it's, you know, uncut box set number one, but it is dubbed in English, or, you know, subbed in English, even on pieces of paper, and everything that's in Japanese has English right up under it. And I guess even though I do like knowing what certain things say, I guess it's just the authentic feel of it actually being flat out uncut is a lot better to me personally because, you know, you say it's uncut, I pay for it to be uncut. That's kind of what I want, the full experience of, even if it means I have to be lost at certain parts because I can't read Japanese, it's fine because, you know, it's actually uncut like it says. And also, if you watch Naruto and Toonami, that's not uncut. That's, um, like, I don't even know what that is. It's the uncut episode, but the beginning and the ending, of course, are not the actual endings. Like, they still use the American opening. I thought they were at least going to use the actual first Japanese opening, but they didn't even do that. They just used the American version. And then the little, like, black title screen with the pictures like they do for bleach now and pretty much you know most of the big anime but you know like that is not really worth watching either because you know i don't recall too many times like i know there were some parts where naruto definitely they edited the blood out for tsunami and um obviously if you ever saw shippuden on disney they definitely did it because it's disney like there's a part where you know jiraiya gets it was talking about when he was attacked by Naruto when they were doing their training between the original and Chiputin. And he had like a giant scar on his chest. And in the original version, he's just like got blood all over him. And then in the Disney version, it was just nothing. It was just like a space. And it was just, it was really crazy to me. But, you know, the show for the most part wasn't too censored outside of the language, of course, which is hardly any cussing in pretty much the same thing except a couple of episodes like I watched the episode where Naruto and Sasuke fought over on top of the hospital and if you watch that on YouTube anywhere and it's subbed it's always cussing like right when they're about to attack each other and they do cuss they don't say anything like I read the subtitles and it's like you know the F word or something they don't say that it just says damn I can't stop and that's it and that's pretty much all they say that's it's that they might say hell, and I think Sakura said jackass once. 
and that's been you know eight nine seasons in and that's pretty much those are like the only three words it's nothing like really bad or anything like that but you know as far as the blood and stuff goes it's there it's you know with it having been so long ago i don't really remember specific scenes like oh they cut out this much blood or that much blood it's mostly oh they obviously didn't cuss on tsunami and that's pretty much it but i do enjoy having it uncut and also you know it just looks cool to have like this nice little reflective thing um for shippuden they changed it and it's not reflective anymore it's just a cool little picture i think the picture is a little bit cooler though because it's not like this where it's just one color whatever color the box is that's what the color the character is and this one is you know it's naruto and he's drawn out and everything unfortunately they stopped even doing it like this like if you can see it has like the three you know separate dvds and little cases and um that's actually different from original Naruto, which is like this and it opens up and it has like all these little custom pictures and this one's empty because i have it in my dvd player but like each disc has a character on it and they have a character you know characters on the back and for the shippuden box sets they split it up where each one's on the separate little case and now it's not even like the special case where they slide out anymore it's just like a regular dvd case and this is the um season eight one so you can see the cds it always has you know pictures of characters doing stuff that they never do in the show like kakashi with like the little dragon claws or whatever it'll just be characters with a bunch of weapons like uruka with a sword it's like i've just weapons they've never even shown in the anime before but they just put them in the picture just like random pictures you would find on google where they just put the characters in different situations because it looks cool it's pretty much that um as far as bleach i can't really remember what it looks like because that's not here so i can't show you i do remember it came with like a giant poster of ichigo and then on the back was a ton of um like sample art which was really cool and um i guess i can show you soul eater which Soul Eater Uncut, I guess it doesn't really say it's uncut, it just, it's Soul Eater, the complete series. You know, like, this one's pretty cool. Now, I have, like, the complete collection series, but there is, there are a ton of different versions. You can get, like, the Meister collection, then Weapon collection, because they've resold Soul Eater so many different times. And this one, it just has the different colors, you know, for, like, Maka and Soul, and then, like, Black Star. And that's about it. And there's a nice little, you know, this little custom picture. But, like, I saw another version before I bought this on YouTube. And I think it was the, like, Meister collection or something like that. And all the DVDs had pictures just like the Naruto ones. And I thought that was really cool because it had every character on there. At least all the main characters. They had Soumaka, Kid, Liz, and Petty, Blackstar, and Tsubaki. But... You know, I guess after a while, that type of stuff does get expensive. So, they kind of shut that down. <laughs> Which would explain why, you know, the Naruto DVDs really change. Because, like you saw, I went from the reflective stuff to this, which I really like. But, you know, after... I don't know how many seasons in, but I know now, and it's... I think you can buy up to season 17, and you see it, and it looks just like this. It's like a regular dvd and you just open it up and it just has the cds inside which kind of sucks compared to you know obviously this and even more so you know these because each season also comes with you know a book for one of the episodes and you know it's just all in japanese it's basically just the storyboard for the episode for like one episode of the whole season and obviously once again i can't read japanese but i really appreciate it because it's just a random cool thing to have um they have special editions of the DVDs that come with headbands. Like when I got the second season, my dad got it for me for Christmas. And he got the special edition, and that came with the Sand Village headband. And then I got another special edition season. I don't even remember which season this was for. I think it might have been season seven. I don't remember. But it came with Gamakichi. 
And so there are like six of these. Yeah. So there's like Gamakichi, and then some of the other animals that I can't remember. Like, I want to say his name is Pakun, the dog, um, the snake, and the snail, and Tom Tom, the pig. And then the, um, you know, Gamakichi's dad, the giant toad. But, you know, they came with all types of cool special things. And, you know, that was just nice to have to buy on DVD. And that kind of, I guess it depends. If you have a ton of money, you can buy all the special editions. That sort of makes up for some of the stuff missing out as far as not being completely uncut. But overall, you know, having uncut episodes is really nice to watch it in English or in subbed, even if the subtitles are a little changed, like, you know... If you watch anything that's in a different language, if you watch it in English dub and then you have the subtitles under it, it's a bit different because you can't just have like dialogue change verbatim, unfortunately, but that's just how it works. Like I could say this sentence right here and in Japanese, it could be a lot longer or a lot shorter. So we'd have to sometimes change dialogue around a little bit to you know work around it. But that was it, you know, let me know what you think about Anka DVDs and just Anka anime in general. Is it really much better than, you know, the censored version that you see on television? I know for some stuff it is. Like, I'm sure Uncut Dead Man Wonderland is a lot different than the censored version. Although not by much, I guess you just see a little bit more. They don't have the weird black spots and it's just like a hole in a person and it's just a black circle. But, you know, stuff like that, is it worth it having the uncut version? You know, mostly for anime that actually have more than, like, 12 episodes. But just in general, for, like, the big anime, the, like, super bloody ones, is it better to have it uncut? Or is it not that big of a difference, you know? Comment, you know, let me know. Let other people know. What should they get uncut? What should they avoid? And just, you know, watch online. Comment, rate, you know, subscribe if you like. Like I said, let me know, and you know, buy anime on DVD, support the companies, buy the manga, buy the anime, buy toys, whatever. Just buy something you'll use at least, but just buy it. So thanks for watching.